Hi, everybody. This is Sheila Keeter, your teacher for inclusion. Um, today, I want to talk about podcasts and where and who you can find to listen to. But before I get started, I wanted to share two mistakes that I made in my um, TPT conference review video. One was that I thought there were millions of sellers. There are not. There's hundreds of thousands of sellers which is better for us. And the second thing was that there were, you could fit the number of podcasters on one hand. I today have been able to find eight. So that was also inaccurate. And thank you to those of you who let me know in the comments when I make a mistake because I will try to correct it. Okay. So today I want to talk about podcasting. I don't know about you, but every time I go for a walk or clean the house or do something like that, I throw on a podcast and I listen. Um, it's easier than YouTube when you're busy doing something and you're not um, able to watch a video. So I want to go over the, the podcasters who specialize or whose specialty is teachers pay teachers. Um, and they're all very excellent. I'm going to name eight of them for you. So if you have a pen or pencil, make sure you write these down. Um, the first one is Alexandra Baxter. She is a, um, she, she knows everything there is to know about Pinterest. Um, so you might want to check her out. Her most recent podcasts are about email blogging. Your first, making your first thousand, what to do when sales are low, and production over the summer. Um, she has one of her, fa my favorites is her, why your business is like a veggie patch. Typically, she caters to newer sellers, okay, um, which is okay because I always need refreshers anyway. The second one is the rebranded teacher by Lauren Fulton. Um, she is one of my favorites. She's just so very organized and gives you everything in steps. So, or five reasons why you need an email list. So it's just very organized and easy to digest information. Um, her last few podcasts were listing sources on other sites, which was interesting. Podcasting product descriptions, and creating a website. Creating a website is my favorite. Then we have The School of Sellers by Erin Waters. She's um, very talented. She was one of the speakers at the TPT conference. She spoke about efficiency. So her last um, few podcasts were Mastering Your Money Mindset with Trina Devery, who was also another speaker at the TPT. TPT conference, how to get unstuck, which I'm going to listen to after we finish this, the copycat battle, which is really interesting, TPT sellers around the world, very interesting, um, and what I like about her is that she has a lot of topics that you don't see in other people's podcasts, because Sometimes it can get really repetitive when you're watching multiple podcasts and people are talking about, you know, covers, product descriptions, and an email list, right? Okay, then we have Teacherpreneurs Raise Your Hand by Trina Devery. Again, she was one of the speakers at the TPT conference. She talked about kind of manifestation and how that works and um, what kind of mindset you need to be in to really make money. Some of her most recent um, podcasts are affiliate marketing, digital products, and 10 minutes to, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> so we're going to skip that. <laughs> All right, then we have the CEO Teacher Academy by Casey Morris. Um, she's also excellent. She does her last few um, podcasts were social media ideas to kickstart your business, why teachers are guilt prone. Um, and one of her favorites is 
Money Mindset with Denise Duffield. If you haven't checked out Denise Duffield yet, be sure to do that. Um, my favorite book is the Chill Chillpreneur book by Denise Duffield. And I love to listen to it on the audio book because she has an Australian accent and her voice is really soothing. <laughs> and she puts a lot of personality into reading her book. So definitely check that out. Again, Chillpreneur by Denise Duffield. All right, then we have Becca's Teacherpreneur, Teacherpreneur Academy by Becca, Becca Davis. And her most recent posts are how to get followers. Um, I want to stop and just interject an idea here. If you are trying to find a way to get followers, please stop wasting your time. Um, because you want followers to come to you organically. You want people to follow you because they want to know about your next resource. Anyone else, you don't need them to follow you. Um, I see people in these big Facebook groups talk about, oh, let's all follow each other. And I'm thinking, why? So that people can copy your ideas, um, which is what's going to happen more often than someone's going to buy your purchase. So it doesn't need, you don't need followers. It doesn't like look better for you if you have followers. People can tell if you're a newer store. And there's a certain amount of followers people gain naturally over time. So just stop thinking about followers all in general. I don't even look at um, my numbers for followers. Okay. Um, she talks about the summer, what to do in the summer and marketing strategies and how to uh, zone in on a niche. She typically talks to the newer seller um, but if you've listened to her videos, uh, it's all repurposed um, content. Still very good though. I've listened to every single one of her videos. So for me, it was like kind of a review. But if you're a newer seller, definitely listen to her podcast. She's great. Then we have the not so wimpy teacher who is Jamie Sears. Um, she talks about emails, lessons from a coach, how to plan a retreat for your business, how to work with your spouse. Um, and what I love about her, which is the same as Erin Waters, is that she has topics that are very original and different. Okay, and then last but not least, Online Marketing Made Easy by Amy Porterfield. Um, her most recent posts are how to be curious as an entrepreneur. She has a tip every Wednesday. So it's called Wisdom Wednesday and she sells. She shares a um, tip about content. And I just saw that. So I'm gonna get into that and see um, what she shares because she's supposed to be super amazing, like makes a lot of money on Teachers Pay Teachers, sells a lot of courses. Um, if you haven't looked up Amy Porterfield, Porterfield, you might want to do that. If you're looking for a course, you might want to look that up, look her up as well. Then she has a podcast called Get in the Game and one called How to Stop Juggling All the Things. All right. So hopefully you now have enough material for your, I don't know, jogging session or your cleaning session. That's typically how I use um, the podcast for Teachers Pay Teachers, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Um, I just wanted to make one quick plug for one of my courses. I have a Pinterest course, and aside from that, I have a, um, I have a course for English teachers who want to sell on TPT, and it walks you through everything, including product um, creation step by step. I'm going to be raising the prices after summer. So if it's something you're interested in taking, you might want to um, check it out now and I'll leave it in the show notes. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.